from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. One of the most unique features of India is its rivers and they also hold high religious significance among the people. They are considered as god and goddess in the country and are worshipped by Hindus. One among them is Ganga Deshera which is one of the most popular and auspicious festivals in Hinduism. It is celebrated by devotees to mark the origin of sacred river Ganga. So this week we take you to the various Indian pilgrimage sites of India where devotees gathered at ghats of river Ganges to mark the festival of Ganga Deshera. Have a look. Hindu devotees gathered at the ghats of river Ganga in various pilgrimage sites where devotees took a holy dip and offered prayers to celebrate the festival of Ganga Deshera that marks the descent of the holy river on earth. Regarded as a celestial river of Hindus, Originating in the heavens, the legends hold that Ganga was gifted to mankind in response to the great penance undertaken by King Bhagirath, after whom she is called Bhagirathi. Bhagirath, a descendant of the legendary Sagra dynasty, prayed for Ganga to descend onto the parched earth and bring life. On the occasion, devotees performed rituals and prayed to mark the special occasion in northern Varanasi and Prayagraj cities. बहुत ही ज़्यादा मज़ा आ रहा है जैसे कि आज गंगा जी का जन्म हुआ है और आज के दिन जैसे कि बहुत सारे लोग आए यहाँ पे बहुत सारे मतलब सबके दिल में ऐसी खुशी है जैसे कि मतलब हर साल एक नया हो। आज के दिन गंगा स्नान करने से और खास कर गंगा पूजा करने से बीस फल प्राप्त होता है जो भी गंगा स्नान करते हैं या और लोगों को गरीबों को दान देते हैं ब्राह्मणों का सत्कार करते हैं महापुरुषों को सत्कार करते हैं अपने माता पिता का वंदना करते हैं इस कार्य करने से घर के अंदर खुशहाली रहती है अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू माइथोलॉजी गॉड इज गंगा केम डाउन टू दी अर्थ ऑन दशमी एंड फ्रीड भागीरथ एंड सिस्टर्स फ्रॉम अकर्स इट इज बिलीव दैट इफ वन ऑफर्स प्रेयर ऑन दिस डे one attains salvation from ten sins. Every year pilgrims from all over India take part in the festival and bath in the holy river in large numbers. Today Ganga is a great place and in such a way, Maa Ganga is a great place and in such a way, if there is a great place in Kashi, then 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 there is a great place in Kashi, माँ यमुना से आशीर्वाद लेने के लिए बड़ी भारी मात्रा में श्रद्धालु आते हैं इस वर्ष भी श्रद्धालुओं का लगातार आगमन जारी है पुलिस प्रशासन की तरफ से बेहद सुरक्षा के इंतजाम किए गए हैं मजिस्ट्रेट की ड्यूटी लगाई गई है उसके अलावा भारी संख्या में पुलिस बल भी तैनात है हमने फ्लड पी की व्यवस्था करी है गोताखोरों भी यहाँ पर लगे हुए हैं उसके अलावा हमारा सिविल डिफेंस जो है वो यात्रियों को विभिन्न प्रकार के निर्देश देने के लिए लगा हुआ है इस तरह एक बेहतर व्यवस्था सभी यात्रियों को मिले ऐसे हम लोग प्रयास कर रहे हैं दी गंगा इज कंसिडर्ड होली रिवर एंड इज वर्शिप्ड बाय हिंदूज हु मेक अप अबाउट एटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया बिलियन पीपल दे कॉल इट गंगा माता और मदर गंगा एंड बिलीव अ डिप इन द रिवर अब्जोल्व अ लाइफ टाइम ऑफ सेंस दिवल गंगा दशहरा रिफ्लेक्ट दराइटी ऑफ रिच कल्चरल ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडिया and such festivals set off shared attitudes values goals and practices that symbolize the plurality of its indian culture well india from time immemorial has championed the cause of religious syncretism in all its varieties of thoughts and traditions as an example to the world in a bit to get you familiar with the long standing legacy of religious harmony in the subcontinent we take you to amritsar where shah ali baba's dargah serves as a token of peace and unity for generations to come the shah ali baba's dargah in rajatal village of amritsar truly lives up to the much lauded notion of the ganga jamuni tehzeeb as imbibed in the ethos of indian land by its ancient saints and mystics The dargah is characterized by the multitude of devotees belonging to both 
Hindu and Muslim communities who approach the shrine with hopes of getting their wishes fulfilled. Devotees believe offering prayers at the shrine opens a doorway to hope and they find a new vigor to resolve their problems. ਸਾਡੇ ਵੇਖਣ ਚ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਪੂਰੇ ਆਲ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਚ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਕੋਈ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਹਸ਼ਿਆਰਪੁਰ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਚ ਕਾਫੀ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਵੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਸੰਗਤ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਧਰਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਇਹੋ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਧਰਮ ਚ ਕਿਸੇ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਵਖਰੇਵਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਰਲ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਸ਼ਰਧਾ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ It is believed that the Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all those who come here from different corners of the country. People of all religions have deep faith in the saint who throughout his entire life worked for the welfare of humanity and spread the message of peace. Main ga bachpan to hi main aunda itthe kafi chir ho gaya mainu seva karde nu. Har virwar jadon main school vi padda si ga odon vi main virwar de virwar chutti karda si ga. ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਜੋਗਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਆਣ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਤੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਮੈਂ ਕੰਮ ਤੇ ਹੋਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਣ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਵੀਰਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਵੀਰਵਾਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਖਵਾਇਸ਼ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਜਿਤਰਾ ਦੀ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਦੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਪੁੱਤ ਦੀ ਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੋਈ ਮਕਾਨ ਦੀ ਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਨੌਕਰੀ ਦੀ ਆ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਧਰਮ ਦੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਆਸਮਰਾਤ ਪੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਮੰਤਾ ਮੰਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਪੰਜੀ ਫਗਣ ਨੂੰ ਹਰ ਸਾਲ ਮੇਲਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਸੰਗ ਦਾ ਮੇਲਾ ਝੰਡੇ ਚੜਦੇ ਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੰਗਤ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਬੜੀ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਸਰਦਾ ਨਾ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਆ ਹਰ ਆਸਾਮਰਾਦਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਪੂਰੀਆਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਧਰਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਥੇ ਧਰਮ ਦੀ ਨਿੰਦ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਿੱਕੀ ਜਾਤੀ ਦਾ ਵੱਡੀ ਜਾਤੀ ਦਾ ਚਾਹੇ ਕਿਤਰਾ ਕੋਈ ਅਮਰਤ ਛਕਿਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਕਿਤਰਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਆਸਾਮਰਾਦਾਂ ਪੂਰੀਆਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਆਸਾਮਰਾਦਾਂ ਜੋ ਲਈ ਕਿਉਂ ਨੇ ਸਿੰਸ ਏਜਸ Sufi saints like Shah Ali Baba have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood actor Aamir Khan attended the trailer launch of upcoming regional film Carry On Jatta 3 in India showbiz capital of Mumbai. Carry On Jatta 3 is the third installment of blockbuster Punjabi comedy of the same name with actor Gippy Grewal reprising his role as the man who falls in love but struggles to get married. Maine na Carry On Jatta 1 dekhi na 2 dekhi लेकिन अभी जब मैंने ट्रेलर देखा तो मैंने फॉरेन ट्रेलर जो फर्स्ट टाइम कंप्लीट हुआ मैंने उसको पता है नाउ आई नो कि 1 और 2 क्यों इतनी हिट हुई क्योंकि इतना एंटरटेनमेंट मुझे मिला इस यू नो 2 3 मिनट के ट्रेलर में इट वाज सो एंटरटेनिंग दैट आई फेल्ट कि मुझे देखनी है फिल्म तो आई थिंक ये फिल्म यकीनन बहुत कामयाब होगी खान अराइव्ड इन स्टाइल एज ही परफॉर्मड भांगड़ा विद द बैकग्राउंड डांसर्स डायरेक्टेड बाय समीप कांग द फिल्म स्टार्स गिपी ग्रेवाल सोनम बाजवा Binnu Dillon and Gurpreet Guggi in the lead roles. It will release in theaters across India on June 29. Tibetan spiritual leader in exile the Dalai Lama held a session to deliver sermons specially to Tibetan school students in India's northern hill town of Dharmshala. At least 2000 students hailing from several schools attended the first day of the two day preaching session along with other devotees and buddhist monks in the Sugla Khang complex Dalai Lama temple. It is very important for us because uh uh is the our lord and we very respect him. So how do you feel to be a part of this program? I feel very blessed and like I want to try. The Maroon Road monk delivered sermons on Kyabdro Gotro or the three objects of refuge and is also scheduled to preach on same K which means the ceremony of generating of Bodhi Chitta. With more than 2500 retro cameras, a museum in India's northern Gurgaon city is helping visitors understand the evolution of photography and videography. 
Museo camera showcases cameras from different countries and different eras portraying a difference in technology and life before digital world. एक चीज जो मुझे सबसे ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट करती थी ये फोटोग्राफी स्टार्ट कैसे हुई है और किस तरह के डिवाइसेस थे कैमरास थे तो वो फिर जब मैंने इकट्ठे करने शुरू किए तो फिर ये कैमरा बन गया म्यूजियम बन गया The visitors talked about their experience of how the museum had a very well recorded and self-explanatory images that walks them through the journey of cameras and video recorders. Founded in 2009, Museo Camera accounts for the largest non-profit crowd-funded center for photographic arts in Southeast Asia. Moving on, India, the home of saints belonging to all religions. Us Indians have been setting the example of communal harmony across the world, having equal regard and respect for every individual's religion and views, and becoming a part of each other's festivals and celebrations without any discrimination. Every year, the people of Bijanur set similar example of communal harmony at the Dargah e Alia, a shrine which was built in remembrance of an Islamic scholar, Mola Ali. Devotees from India visit the shrine of Jogi Rampuri in Bijnor city of Uttar Pradesh to offer their prayers in the name of Mola Ali at the Dargai Aliya also known as Najave Hind. Every year devotees of various faiths gather at the shrine for a four day religious event. The Najave Hind shrine also has a reputation among its followers that all their wishes will be granted to them by the blessings of Mola Ali. The strong devotion knows no bounds when it comes to attending the gathering in Bijnor. The assemblage of people knows no bounds even when there is scorching heat during May. लोग यहाँ अपनी बंदर को बुलाते हैं मानते हैं उनकी पूरी भी होती है हिंदुस्तान का हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सब यहाँ आता है और ये शिया का पूरे विश्व में सबसे बड़ा मरकज है या तो इराक में नजफ है या फिर दूसरा नाम जो है नजफ हिंद जो भी नजफ हिंद जो है यहाँ हिंदुस्तान में जो भी पूरा दिया There has been a belief among the devotees that the natural water present at the shrine has the ability to heal not only physical but mental illnesses and ailments as well. The devotees that come here recite traditional hymns and prayers in the remembrance of their beloved saint. The place sets yet another example of communal harmony between all religious communities. ये वो बारगाह है कि जिस बारगाह से कोई खाली हाथ नहीं लौटता हिंदुस्तान माशाल्लाह अपनी आज़ादारी और इमाम बारगाहों की वजह से जाना जाता है यहाँ कोई ऐसा शहर नहीं है इस मुल्क में कि जहाँ इमाम हुसैन की बारगाह ना हो या अहिलबैद की बारगाह नहीं हो मगर ये दरगाह आलिया नजफ हिंद ये वो वाद दरगाह है कि जिसको पूरे हिंदुस्तान में नजफ हिंद कहा जाता है वजह यह है कि यहाँ खुद मौलाए कायनत की आमद हुई और खुद मौलाए कायनत की तशरीफ आवरी के बाद यहाँ दरगाह तामीर हुआ यहाँ राजू दादा का मजाक है वो तमाम वाकयात आप लोगों के सामने हैं Events like these have been the reason for the brotherhood and bone homi which has existed between various faiths in India for generations the equal admiration and tolerance of us Indians for all religions not only strengthens the value of secularism but also gives the message of brotherhood and now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus Berlin basked in warm sunshine and festival vibes as the city thrummed to the sound of the Carnival of Cultures, which has returned after a three-year corona hiatus. The intercultural Carnival des Cultures has been a regular and annual event since 1996. On the Whitsun weekend, a three-day street festival with colorful processions showcasing the different cultures of Berlin's residents take place. 
Thousands of people fan out in Berlin to display the cultural richness of their city, a diversity of artistic expression and a creative approach to political and socially relevant issues. The parade aims to provide a space for communities to represent their cultural roots through dance, music and other forms of expression. Before the pandemic, there could be as many as 1 million visitors to the parade, making it one of the biggest in Germany. Hong Kong locals race to collect the traditional desserts from a tower as the annual Cheng Chaobun festival returned to full scale for the first time since 2019. At the stroke of midnight, the 12 brave participants scrambled up a 60-foot tower made of buns. The person who successfully retrieved the bun at the top of the structure would bring luck to their family. Tens of thousands of Hong Kong residents and tourists flock to the tiny island of Shengchao to witness a floating colors parade. The parade featured floating children dressed up as gods and goddesses and they were accompanied by traditional music and land dancing as they marched through the island streets. The art of doodling was put under the microscope in Amsterdam at the world final of the Red Bull Doodle Art Competition. 62 national winners from around the world gathered to compete for the world title. It was the job of a panel of expert judges to decide the winner, including UK artist Sam Cox, also known as Mr. Doodle. A showcase of all the finalists' work was put on in venue Capital C, with the winner being announced as Chiara Crochet from Italy. There were huge cheers as she went up to the stage to collect the prize, saying after she was surprised to win. There were more than 120,000 entries for the global competition that Red Bull says empowers a new generation of artists. Meanwhile, artist and judge Scott Martin of Burnt Toast said all the finalists should be proud of themselves. Well, in a rapidly changing world marked by tectonic shifts in the world order, India's emergence as a key player in world affairs and particularly the global south has redefined her prominence to truly become a sovereign, decisive and self-sufficient state that is not merely confined to the category of a developing nation at the behest of others. The G20 presidency, which has been dubbed one of India's most remarkable diplomatic achievements till date, has greatly added to its reputation. Recently, a G20 meeting was hosted in Jammu and Kashmir. Take a look. India assumed the G20 presidency in December 2022 and is now hosting over 200 G20 meetings in over 50 cities. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is one among them. The third G20 Tourism Working Group meeting was recently organized in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. The G20 brings together the world's leading economies having more than 80% of the global GDP on one platform to exchange dialogues on matters of global concerns and strategic partnerships. The G20 Tourism Working Group meeting aims to strengthen economic growth and preserve cultural heritage to bolster India's cultural identity and tourism potential to the world. We appreciate very much the efforts uh, made by the government of India uh, to make this region uh, safer and uh, more secure. Uh, during the last four or five years, I, you know, I uh, discovered that the uh, Indian government uh, 
made uh, tremendous efforts uh, to make the, uh, this place uh, safer. And the, this kind of you know, G20 uh, meeting in Srinagar, Kashmir, uh, will be uh, very much helpful uh, for the uh, future uh, tourism for uh, Jammu and Kashmir, uh, this region. The G20 delegations arrived at Sheikhul Alam International Airport in Srinagar as the mega event began. About 60 foreign nationals from over 27 countries and industry stakeholders participated in discussions on green tourism, destination management, ecotourism and the use of films to promote tourism, economic growth and cultural preservation. The G20 meeting proved to be the first major international event to be held in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir since it received Union territory status after the abrogation of Article 370 in 2019. I've heard so many good things about uh, Jammu and Kashmir, how beautiful it is, but now that I came here and get to experience myself, it's just stunningly beautiful. So this opportunity to host um, third tourism working group meeting here in Jammu and Kashmir will, will be an opportunity to showcase the world how beautiful it is and also how peaceful it is, unlike uh, some people's concern. During the three-day event in the valley, the G20 delegates visited Dal Lake and experienced Shikara rides and was seen visiting the historical Polo View Market amid light rain on the third day of the meeting. The delegates also visited the Art and Craft Bazaar organized by the state government showcasing local handicrafts by local artisans signifying the role of community participation. For Jammu and Kashmir, the G20 event will mean a significant flux of tourism and a boost in the economy of the Union Territory. It opens new doors and opportunities for the people of Kashmir and India as a whole to emerge as a global leader. Very, very beautiful experience. Love it here. Even though the rain, there's a little bit of rain, uh, but we really liked it a lot. Uh, beautiful heaven on earth. We did a lot of shopping today. We intend to continue. So I think uh, pure beauty of Kashmir and many unique products. Uh, tourists around the world should visit Kashmir. You got a beautiful place in here and you have um, Trinaga and all around the place. So um, people that is coming here to get to see the whole thing. So they have multiple experience, they get to taste the gastronomy and everything. Oh, it's great. People here are really nice and you've got an incredible infrastructure. So people should come. Under a committed Modi government, India has risen to prominence on the international stage through diplomatic and economic endeavors and strong leadership. Summits and conferences are held to address unique challenges countries face while also fostering cooperation and development. In the context of Jammu and Kashmir, the G20 Tourism Working Group meeting will bring about the socio-economic transformation in the valley. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.anin.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Music